One of the first industries hit hard by the pandemic is hospitality and leisure. CBS 17's Randy Ayala spoke with those affected about how the past year has been and how the future is looking. Randy. Yeah, Liz, so the Sheraton in downtown Raleigh had to lay off over half of their staff when the pandemic first started. A general manager tells me they're slowly, gradually getting back to normal, but he still has not been able to bring everyone back on board. 28,000 jobs in Wake County's hospitality sector rely on visitors spending their money. That came to a screeching halt once COVID hit and restrictions were put in place. It's all about people in this industry, and it's it's the people and the jobs that we've lost. Um, you know, we were the first to get shut down, the first to have to put people on the unemployment line. Scott Peacock with Visit Raleigh tells me in 2019, 18 million people visited Wake County, spending almost $3 billion and generating $284 million in tax revenue. It was a new record. The tourism industry literally went from what was going to be the most highest of highs to completely having the rug sucked from underneath us. And that meant job loss. Leon Cox is a general manager for the Sheraton in downtown Raleigh. He says in the past year, he's had to lay off about 60% of his staff. Now, one year later, about 30% have come back. When we get weekends like this and uh, Valentine's Day weekends, yes, you have the opportunity to bring staff back. Uh, get people some uh, some work, and that is the most gratifying part of what we do. An opportunity to get back to some type of normalcy. And Cox is confident that will continue as more people become comfortable traveling again. Some of the people that travel a lot, we're seeing that a little bit better uh, during the weekday, and on the weekends uh, is when we've seen the spikes in leisure. So it's getting a little bit better and better. You know, Cox tells me that as occupancy grows and more restrictions are lifted, he's hoping he'll be able to bring back more staff. And he's really hoping that Raleigh will begin hosting uh, sports events and conventions as well. He says those always help business as well. Live in Raleigh, Randy Ayala, CBS 17 News.